Since being invented for the Wii to being transferred to the DS, 3DS, Wii U, and now the Switch, Miis have been around since the dawn of man. 2006. Although Miis appeared in massive games such as Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Fit, okay if it had Wii in the title, odds are Miis were in that game. But these titles and many more left fans with one question. What if there was a game about Miis? Nobody actually asked that question, but in 2009 in Japan, a game entitled Tamadachi Collection would be released and it did just that. Although it's considered a prequel, it's honestly just a less polished version of Tamadachi Life. This is not to be confused with Tamagotchi, the digital pet simulation games released as keychains in the late 90s to early 2000s. However, the concept does derive from it. Tamadachi Life was released in North America June 6, 2014 and sold a total of 6.72 million copies, making it the 11th best-selling game on the Nintendo 3DS. The basis of the game is you and whatever means you choose to create live together on an island in an apartment building. You play as a a god, just with very limited powers. Sure, you can bring life into this world, but you also need to fix every problem these whining children have. If they're hungry, you feed them. They don't feel stylish, get them a new outfit. Also, you're forced to like whatever little game they want to play. Wait a second, you're not god, you're playing mom! Regardless, your Mies have the ability to build relationships with one another. This could be friendships, lead to heartbreak, or even sometimes babies if they play their cards right. There are smaller minigames and other mechanics built into Tamadachi Life, but the main gameplay loop is based around what I mentioned earlier. This game is loved by so many, including myself, and it's still a shock it hasn't been re-released for the Nintendo Switch. Especially seeing as Miitopia, the game I was originally supposed to play for this video, was tweaked and re-released for the Switch in May of 2021. I'm sorry about that guys, I want to play the Switch version when I make a video on it, it's just much better for creating characters. But I don't currently have a capture card because I've been emulating all the games I've been making videos on so far. I will get around to it, it's just, it's gonna be later down the line. Anyway, as for finding a stopping point, Tamadachi Life technically has one, as the credits roll as your Miis have their first baby. So, my goal for this video will be to have a baby. That's literally my only goal. However though, I will be waiting for the kid to grow up before I leave. I'm not an animal. We start the game off building a me that looks like myself, and all jokes aside, I think I did a pretty good job. After fixing that issue, the best thing for us to do is to just create a bunch of Miis off the bat. So I did just that. Out of our first batch, we have Taylor, Glurb, Stock Photo Woman, Donald, and Joe. I plan to make more female Miis down the line, I just can't think of any more women right now. There's a reason why one of the two is based off of a stock photo. I want to get this out of the way right now, my only reasoning for making Donald and Joe was for them to hopefully have a relationship. However, I forgot to make one of them a female Mii. And technically, the game doesn't include gay marriage. Thumbs down. For the game, not for gay marriage. After birthing these new people, we're spammed by news flashes, and I was laughing my ass off as they used stock photo woman for almost every grand opening. This included useful locations like the clothing and hat store, useless ones like the tower, cafe, and amusement park, and fun ones like the concert hall. I say certain locations are useless because there's not really anything to do there. However, they will hold their occasional special event or mini game but there's just really not much to do. We will visit all the locations at some point, but they're really just spots for our islanders to hang out. Following the grand opening, I decided to go clothing shopping, where I found a perfect outfit for the perfect person. Myself. Swinging by the park, we found Sean selling hamster suits, and if you think that's crazy, look at these prices. After checking back in on my mini me, and I swear, I'm not cutting around events, this is honestly just how the game works, we find out that Sean has a crush on somebody, and it's Taylor? I don't know why, but something about her, it just, it seems so familiar. I just, I can't put my finger on it. Something just seems off. You know what? It's not like he's me, so he can do whatever he wants. I ended up talking to Glurb, and he asked me for some recommendations on phrases. So we decided on where's my hug when he's sad, and I love Discord for when he's happy. Going around the island, I catch when that woman thinks Donald is handsome, which is... Well, it's, it's a taste. Later that night, I decided to buy a mystery bag from her, and we got a priceless piece of headwear I couldn't resist but to give to myself. Immediately after, Sean expressed that he wanted to take Taylor on a date, so I sent them to the amusement park, and they seemed to be having a nice time. I mean, she looks happy watching Sean on the merry-go-round. I felt it was time to introduce a few more tenants to our apartment building, so here's a big warm welcome to Karen, Mima, The Rock, and Waldo. It was straight to business as Karen immediately asked what she should say when she's mad, and uh, 
Yeah, that's about right. Now seems to be a good time to mention that Mies will sometimes want to play a little mini game with you. The games vary from catch this object to guess that blurred object, to what's that shadow object, and even guessing the zoomed in object. In all seriousness, there actually are some unique mini games, but most of them stem from this formula. They also all share one thing in common. I'm bad at them. I swear, it's always something. Frisbee, fishing, whether I can tell if this is cheesecake or crackers. Fuck, it was crackers! Okay, let's just take a break at the park. Nope, nope. I decided to give Taylor a vacation ticket to advance her and Sean's relationship. And she didn't even take Sean. They're dating, and she's met one other person. And she took the other person. Taylor also demanded that she take her private jet. Which is strange, because this... This seems so familiar. Anyway, Mima's weird. She had me look in her stomach, and then she started saying a bunch of really bizarre stuff. Why was I blue? Oh. Ew, Mima, what the hell? Meanwhile, Glare was showing me funny faces, all while saying some really concerning stuff. I wonder if she thought he is part of my life now, but I just don't know it yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it's really weird, because I was just trying to make him say, oh no, Pookie. Meanwhile, I was panicking, because I thought Taylor broke up with us, but turns out Sean just has a tummy ache. Me too, Sean, I get it. Hey look, I found Waldo. Also, is he levitating in his room? He's a strange guy, and honestly, really creeping me out. Around this time, I created Isaac Newton. Come on guys, I found an apple hat and I wasn't supposed to. L let's be real. I got sick bouncing around room to room, so I decided to play some quirky questions. However, nobody decided to play along. I mean, fair enough, the questions were traps, but still. After Joe claimed to be devoted to us, I decided to go check in on him, and I managed to perfectly call him ascending due to some creamy stew. Somebody's gotta really like this or hate it. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, you guys see why I'm scared of Waldo now, right? It was then time to check up on Sean and Taylor's relationship. Huh, Sean's in love. According to Taylor, she's not. Wait, what? Sean, I hate you. And you're look alike. Maybe I'd like you more if you took a hike. I'm Taylor Swift, no question about it. Thank you, my new Wow, I swear, this sounds so familiar. Also, shockingly, they're still together. Glurb doesn't care though, because all he wants is a bath. Seriously, he won't stop telling me about it. You don't know, because I cut it out, but he's been going on about this for a half hour. Glurb, listen to me. When I get a bath set, I will give you a bath. Until then, relax. Eventually, I managed to get my hands on a bath set, so he can finally shut up now. I started a new day and forgot that Islanders could have beef, so now I'm forced to fix Mima and woman's relationship. After several interactions with Mima, she finally calmed down enough to go apologize, just for a woman to not forgive her. But then I went to woman and she claimed she was tired of fighting. Are you kidding me? Hey look, I found Waldo again. Oh, hey Glurb, what are you doing here? You had a bath set this whole time? Jesus arrived and then Taylor decided she wanted to play a football mini game against me. If there was ever a time to win a mini game, this was it. So we did. I then gave Sean an AR camera, and I was forced to reset. So we lost that day. Also, ironically enough, uh... Jesus is resurrected. And like clockwork, Taylor wanted to try me again. But you're not winning, sweetheart. Okay, okay, you got lucky this time. Regardless, it's that time again, and the Sheen Factory pumped out a few new me's. We have Tall Girl, from the hit movie Tall Girl. Joey King, Reba McIntyre, and around this point, I realized, you know, we don't got enough diversity, and with it being Black History Month, I decided to make Martin Luther King Jr. And by the looks of Mima, I'm just gonna say she's supportive. While looking around the complex, I managed to find Glurb and Isaac having a fight, so I ended up pushing Glurb on a swing until he was ready to apologize. And would you believe me if I said it didn't work again? So now he's sitting down depressed at a cafe while Sean tries to cheer him up. Don't worry though, one dino suit later and he was all good. The next day, the grocery store had beans, and I love baked beans. Don't believe me? Let's see what Sean had to say. What is this? 
Okay, well he didn't say anything, but he danced, and a dance is worth a million words. Looking once again at their relationship, we can see that Taylor, holy crap, she wants to get married. But now Sean doesn't feel good. Okay, it's time to clutch up, which is why after Donald and Joe become friends, I kick it into high gear. Abe Lincoln, Honey Boo Boo, Scott Pilgrim, Knife Chow, Goldie and Goldette Fish, Michelle Obama, and guys, I, I regret this choice. Um, uh, it, it's Dan Schneider. After I got everybody settled in, I decided to play some Tamanachi Quest and lost. And oh my god, Dan's going for it. On the bright side of things, Sean managed to set up the Rock and Reba, so at least there's another couple to root for. Snapping back to reality though, I decided to give Donald a sewing kit, and this is what he made. I already know I said I regret making Dan, but just, just watch the clip. Dan, you really shouldn't. Dan, this seems insensitive. At no point will I or have I had an Islander ask for a specific item in the 14 hours of gameplay footage I have. Other than Dan asking for a turban. The good news is, to shut Dan down for the time being, Joey and Isaac of all people became a couple. I know I said it was good news, but honestly, I don't know if it's better or worse. But, but I'll take it. Love must be in the air, because within the next five minutes, Rock decided he wanted to propose to Reba, and with the help of yours truly, we got our first married couple. Now just give me a kid. While we wait, Michelle and Glurb, Glurb bagged a black queen while in a dinosaur costume. That bath really turned things around. While on the topic of relationships, Tall Girl decided to ask out Waldo, but it got interrupted by Jesus and Karen. And then he had the audacity to say, only to Karen, I'm glad you feel the same way. That is soul crushing. Martin and Knives also started dating, but there's not as much drama as that last one. And despite women calling Donald handsome at the beginning of our playthrough, setting them up didn't work out for Martin. In creepier news, Dan wants to be friends with Tall Girl. You know, the only young girl on the island besides Honey Boo Boo and, oh, I don't know, his best friend Joey King. Also, this isn't very important, but I gave Sean a travel ticket and he took Taylor, despite, you know, knowing several people at this point. Just throwing that out there. Glurb and Michelle seem to be doing really well, seeing as Glurb decided to go on a tangent talking about how much he loves her. It, it was really cute. I got nothing else for that. It was, it was really adorable. On the opposite side of the spectrum, I ended up saving Joey and Isaac's relationship, and then he gave me a kid-o-matic. Um, that seems sketchy. It's also good to note that there's also elderly love on this island, seeing as Donald and Mima and Joe and Jesus got set up. That made it sound like it was a group thing. They're two separate couples. Speaking of separate couples, Sean and Taylor? are officially married, followed by Isaac and Joey, and then Scott and Goldette randomly become a couple. Now, I'm sorry for just throwing this information out there, but it's very important for this next bit, seeing as Dan, on three separate occasions, decided to ask out taken women. And not more than two minutes later, Goldette and Scott decide to get married. They've been dating for 10 minutes. And then the next day, they announce they're having a baby. I kid you not, their kid growing up took more time than their entire relationship. Regardless, they have a beautiful baby girl with the hair of her father and the gills of her mother. Now in the time before Kennedy grows up, I won't hide it, two more marriages take place. One is between Waldo and Karen, and the other is Michelle and Glurb, and I am so happy for them. Congratulations. Now that Kennedy's all grown up and ready to move out, we let her stay in the apartment building, just very far away from Dan. I'll be honest though, I do have one more surprise. This entire time, I've been saving up enough money, so by the end, we can send Sean to space. And he takes Taylor. Obviously, they're married. There's no secret about that. So that was Tamadachi life. Wait, wait, what? It's Taylor Please. I only tricked Sean. I'm back for winning more than football. Travis, that's right, now I got two rings. Travis, bring the general. Okay, so so that was Tamadachi Life. I still love this game, whether for the funny dialogue and the weird islanders, 
or for the fact that you can see these relationships really build and grow right in front of you. Tamodachi Life is a wholesome game if you play it as such, but you also have the ability to make it a hilarious mess if that's how you'd like to do it too. Other than just fixing Islanders' problems, there's a ton of other mini games built within. This includes Tamodachi Quest, the mini games your Islanders want to play, all the way down to the concert hall where you can make your own custom performances. Now, just because the game rolls credits once your Mies have a baby, it doesn't mean that's the end of the gameplay. You can have up to 100 Mies on your island. Um, for perspective, I only had 25 and that's including Kennedy. Speaking out of the game, I want to apologize that this isn't the Metopia video I promised. I will make sure to never get anyone's hopes up ever again, and that is a promise. Thank you all for the support. You guys actually got me freaking out because now I have expectations to uphold. But as always, if you have any game you'd like to see for a future video, comment it below and I will take a look at it and see what I can do. Thank you guys. Bye.